You're watching. You're watching. You're watching. You're watching West Hartford. West Hartford Community Television. Community Television. Community Television. For the community. 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 By the community. By the community. By the community. By the community. For the community. By the community. And it's a wrap. Good evening and welcome to Join the Discussion, a monthly show about senior health and aging. My name is Madeline Franchese. I'm the Vice President of Marketing and Development at Hebrew Healthcare, and I'll be your host. Thanks for joining us tonight. Summer's here. Barbecues, soft ice cream, lazy meals on the deck. Sounds like a great time of year, right? But did you know that there are common problems that make it difficult for older adults to follow through on smart food choices? Some of the issues range from difficulty chewing, difficulty swallowing, taking in enough calories, and simply being tired of cooking. On my way into work today, I calculated that while raising a family, I probably cooked more than 10,000 meals. So I totally could understand at a certain point why you'd say, I'm just so done with the kitchen. However, we need to eat, we need to maintain our health. Healthy nutrition is a critical part of, of health for adults. And tonight, I am joined. Our guest is Matthew Ar Arsenault. He is the executive chef at the Crown Market. And Matthew and I are gonna talk today about some healthy summer food options, some good substitutions to cut down on some fat and some salt, and how to make eating fun. Welcome, Chef Maddie. How Thank are you? you? Great, wonderful. Thank you for having us. Thanks for coming today. I know I had to take you out of the market <laughs> at the most probably busiest time of the day. No problem. And you had to prep. First, I have to tell you, the food, the, the products look beautiful, the colors, everything's so fresh. And I just want to eat everything right now, <laughs> <Great>. <laughs> actually. It takes a team. Yeah, it does take a team. And I assume all this obviously came from the crown. Yes. So thank you very much for doing this. Um, let me get to the questions, but before we start to maybe make some dishes and to cook uh, together, tell me about how you became passionate about cooking. Well, I used to love helping my mom in the kitchen. Yeah. And then, uh, Ooh, a boy who likes to help his mom <laughs> in the kitchen. <laughs> yep, I was always curious about what are we eating next? Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Exactly. So, to hurry it up, I had to help out. Okay. And that's what I sure did. So what was the number one dish she showed you how to make? A lot or, of chicken. A lot of chicken. <laughs> uh, Jewish household, clearly. Yep, a lot of chicken. Chicken, salmon, chicken. Um, and so I assume you came up with a lot of different ways to make yeah, chicken, make it yeah. interesting. And then at 13, I started in the kitchen and still in there. Wow. Okay. Well, you have a passion. If you have a passion for what you do and you like what you do, then I have no doubt in having sampled your food in other, in other venues and locations, I know that you are good at what you do. So thank, <laughs> thank you for I being try. here tonight. And let's get right down to it. So as people age, their metabolism slows down. Um, they need fewer calories sometimes, um, nutrient dense foods. And so you have brought several options and ingredients to make different kinds of healthy salads. Um, yes. So we've got chickpea salad. You, I know you brought some roasted vegetables, green bean, almondine. So you begin where you want to on these dishes. And you could tell this is a new format tonight. So we're just going to try and stay out of each other's way while we're back here. <laughs> okay. But go ahead. All right. So at first, we have the chickpea salad. So if we want, we can go ahead and start making this one. So we brought some garbanzo beans. Got those. Here, I'll do your cleanup. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. We got some diced red onion. We got some diced peppers. Green. We got diced yellow peppers for some color. Mm. We got some diced carrots. Some diced celery for some crunch. And also the chickpeas are a great source of that protein that you were talking about. Okay, so another option between meats and fishes and chickens, chickpeas, Correct. good and protein. And it's, it's, it's really nice and soft too. So Exactly, so for those difficult, you know, swallowing, chewing. Correct. 
And we have some fresh herbs. We have some fresh parsley, uh -huh. some fresh basil. And then in here, we have a little bit of a little bit of red wine vinegar, a little bit of garlic oil, a little uh, bit of cayenne mm. Frank's Red Hot, but it's not that hot. No, because you've got a lot in there. <laughs> a lot in so there. It's, it's only a little dab. You need a and spoon that also to toss. Uh, will cut down on using salt. Right, because if you can add other flavors, then Correct. you can at least take away some of the sodium and you may Correct. not notice it as much. So what I'll do we here is... We need a spoon, no. huh? Or something to toss. Do it right with our hands. Okay, kids, if you're doing this at home, <laughs> use gloves. Or wash up, please. <laughs> and just go ahead and mix it up. You know, it's funny because if you don't mind me saying, oh, I actually did cook with my hands. And we people make fun of me, but I think it's great. Oh, I got to get in there. You get right in there, exactly. What'd you forget? A little bit of seasoned salt. Yeah. That's salt, pepper, garlic, and onion powder. Oh, okay. Want to just put a dash in there? You got it. There you go. That does not make me a chef, however. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Oh nice little summer chickpea salad. That looks beautiful. It's a beautiful. great seller right there. Healthy, few calories, good protein source. Everything is chopped, easy to eat, and refreshing. Correct. Lovely. I want to mention that if people want, have questions or want any recipes or suggestions about food, you can email me at join the discussion at HebrewHealthcare.org. And I obviously won't answer you, Maddie. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime. So what do you have next for us to look at? We have our uh, green beans almondine. Okay. Let me just put another glove on here. Now I know um, you have organic too. At yes, we also sell well, organic. Right. Mm -hmm. So you, you pick whichever one you prefer. Mm -hmm. We always got a fresh line of good amount of stuff. Oh, oh. I'm gonna pass another bowl. <laughs> Hey, I didn't know I was working. I thought I was hosting. <laughs> hey, nothing wrong with that. So we blanched off for do about a minute okay. with some trimmed green beans. Mm -hmm. take it? Ah, well, we got a little garbage down there. Then we have our uh, two kinds of different peppers, some yellow, some red, some carrots. And go ahead and blanch those and some mushrooms mm -hmm. just quick, like 20 seconds or oh, so. Oh, okay. Okay. And then You're just I taking have them. almost the stiffness out of it. Correct. Right? Correct. So these are the raw ones. Mm -hmm. I already went ahead and oh, okay. I cooked yep. them down. You just add them in. You got some carrots and peppers already mixed right here. And again, a little seasoning. Mm. It's funny, my kids always make fun of me because. We don't, I didn't cook with salt growing up because my grandmother lived with us, so I don't use salt very often, actually, naturally. Naturally. So when you put all, what's a reasonable amount of salt? When you do this, is a teaspoon too much? Is, you know, when you say just sprinkle it on, what does that equal to you? I just I eye it, but I, I taste as I go. Yeah. Okay. So this way you, you can always add, you can't take away. Yeah, absolutely. So you just add a little bit at a time until, you, until you're there. Mm-hmm. And there you go. Simple summertime salad. Again. And you can colorful, also beautiful. have it at night. Mm -hmm. you, know, you can have it for your lunch with your cold. You can exactly. heat it up warm. You can have it for dinner. So it's a, another salad that can also be served hot. Beautiful. So you have two in one. There you go. Okay, so that was a good salad option. And now we've got to make. Do we need to switch sides or are you no. good? No, we'll good? just reach right over you. <laughs> And now we've got what? Roasted vegetables, yum. Yes, roasted vegetables, which we have right here. Mm -hmm. I know you did such a nice job bringing the samples, and now you're going to show us a little bit about how to put it together. <clears throat> so these ones we have, uh, you know, zucchini. This one's a squash. Do you peel them? No. You leave the, you leave the skin on Just most skin, of the nutrients, skin, yeah. or a lot of them are in the yeah. skin. So Skin right on it. Mm -hmm. Cut them up into little diamonds, medium diamond. 
<laughs> Makes it look so easy, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm lucky I just get the slices the, the same size, never mind medium diamonds. <laughs> Clearly a chef. <laughs> I guess it's a little bit of a form of habit. Exactly. I think you're trained. <laughs> There you go, so zucchini, okay. some squash. I'm gonna take these away. Grab a mushroom. Now these you can leave Are Those portobellos? Big. These are portobellos. Mm -hmm. You can leave these really big when they cook. Yeah. They shrink by almost half, so. Okay. Do you use the stems? Yes, absolutely. It's all edible. And this is a shallot. shallot. Long in flavor. Mm -hmm. Do your kids cook? <laughs> I'm getting off topic. But do you... No kids yet. Oh, sorry. Okay. No kids. Just got married. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. A year now. I was Maybe asking simply because I'm wondering if you grow up in a household with a chef, if you're you know like what? more likely to say dad's cooking. No. <laughs> my father worked at UConn Health Center and uh, my mother as well. And believe it or not, my sister does not cook that much either. Wow. Wow. <laughs> but okay. she does make a few items. Yeah. Her rice and uh, her baked ziti, and she has that down to a perfection. <laughs> and the rest is your brother. <laughs> yeah. Maddie, how do you make this? Exactly. Maddie, how do you make this? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good resource to have. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love mind. doing it. No exactly. problem. And we got some peppers here. You know, now as you're making these, the choices obviously sometimes change in the winter. Yes. Because some of the vegetables aren't available. So what would you substitute for a roasted vegetable like in the winter if you were doing it and you couldn't maybe find the yellow squash green? You could do choices? asparagus. Mm -hmm. You can roast asparagus. Pretty much you can anything. roast almost anything. Yep, you, you know, your sweet cauliflower, potatoes, your cauliflower. sweet potatoes. Oh, yeah, I love sweet potatoes. You can do, a, you know, <laughs> make three different potatoes together. Mm -hmm. Have a roasted potato medley. Mm -hmm. I should, Any have, of those I should have eaten before I did the show. It's not <laughs> I made a big mistake today. Well, you can eat after. You can have anything you want. <laughs> yeah, we'll go for the bigger bowl. Okay. So far, we're doing pretty well here, not getting tangled. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, I can find my guests and myself to a chair, right? <laughs> you bet it's not like that when you're walking the dog, right? No, not at all. <laughs> exactly. That never works out. No. Now, I'm not throwing this on the floor. We're going into the bowl. Right. <laughs> All right, and we we're talking about less salt. So one thing you can do is roasted garlic oil. Oh, wait, so how do you, wait, how do, you do that? You so just... this, you could take a whole clove mm -hmm. and you can put a little olive oil on it and roast it in the oven. Mm. And then you can squeeze out the bulbs. Mm -hmm. Or when you do big batches, you can put a big bag of uh, peeled garlic in the pan, fill it up with oil. You know, canola, vegetable, olive oil. How long does it oil. take to roast it, do you think? 30, well, minutes? this I do in a frying pan. Oh, okay. And I do it on low. Oh, okay. And Cover it? Yep. No, nope, no covering. Just let it go and let it bubble up mm -hmm. for about 25 minutes. And then you get these nice, soft yep. pieces of garlic. And then the oil itself absorbs. And the oil itself is a, is a flavor enhancer. And that's when we were talking about how do you enhance the food for elderly people. Exactly. Without using more salt and everything. That is a wonderful That's way. That's a great and idea. And another thing we do, especially in the mm. Jewish cooking, is caramelized onions. Got to have our kasha vernishkas. <laughs> exactly. Got to have them. So <laughs> <laughs> we go through a good amount of that. So this is also another blended garlic oil. Okay. So that's garlic in there with uh, oil. We wand that up. What kind of oils do you, do you use? Uh, cor you know, we use a lot of corn oil, olive oil. No, we use a lot of. Uh, uh, olive oil mm -hmm. and a lot of bit of a lot of canola oil. Okay. So those are the two. And for other things, we use pomace oil. Mm -hmm. It makes dressings mm -hmm. more clear and everything. And this is uh, again with the flavor enhancer. This is the basil oil. So it's the same thing. You just uh, different ingredients. Right. So you just, this wow. you would take the fresh basil huh. and oil, and you would take an immersion blender and mm -hmm. blend it up. Let it sit for a day or two, and then we strain it. And there you go. And then here you go. Wow, Basil that is oil. a wonderful idea. I never thought of that. And then this way you have more flavors. Okay. Now if you want, you can put a little seasoned salt or mm -hmm. when you roast them, it's going to bring out the flavors. So you can, it's optional. Right, you can it all depends. after If you need those calories or you don't need those calories, mm -hmm. if you got to watch your sodium or whatever, 
Okay. There you go. Now you just toss it up. Oh, that smells so good. Oh my God, I love garlic. <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> okay, so now, how long you're roasting these in the oven? Yes. For how long? I uh, usually tell people to go in 10 minute increments. Mm -hmm. So 10 minutes, 425. Mm -hmm. If you're worried, go 400. But the higher, the quicker, so this way it will yeah. you know, get brown. Now do you have, you know, I don't know, do you have to put them in at different times? Like you said, the broccoli may take longer than the mushroom and then that well, ends correct. up being like. <laughs> now at the store, we definitely do the broccoli separately. Oh, you do it all right at the store. <laughs> <laughs> we put the broccoli separate. <laughs> okay. Because that has only a 10 minute cook time. Right, okay, so, so you do separate when you're doing out. it at home, you know, it's not the end of the world exactly. to put it all together, especially no, for... No, but when we come to the crown, we expect it to be perfect, and it Correct. is. <laughs> now, another option, which I could, you know, show you, is you could do the same thing, but you just cut these into strips, mm -hmm. use the same uh, ingredients, and then put them on your grill. Oh. So then you have a grilled vegetable medley salad. Oh, that's a good idea. And then you could finish mm -hmm. it when you're done with mm -hmm. fresh basil. Fresh Can parsley. you do it opposite? Can you cook it a little inside so it's not and then put it on the grill at the end to give it a last minute? Sure, absolutely. Char, sort of. Sure. <laughs> it all depends how soft you, you right. know, like you were saying for the elderly, how right. soft they want the vegetables. Right. I like a crunch. Right, exactly. So less the better. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't want to overcrowd the pan like I just did. Right. <laughs> and there you go. It's beautiful. And it ends up looking like this. Exactly. That's beautiful here. Oh my God, that tastes, that looks so good. And it smells good too. You've got a lot of great healthy salad options here um, that, mm. that are just, yeah, yummy. We also have a ton <laughs> of you know, pre-made salads, mm -hmm. pre-made green salads. You know, I'll jump ahead for a second to when you said pre-made. One of the difficulties, as I stated in the beginning, was that sometimes older adults are A, sick of cooking, or B, they're eating by themselves, so it's sort of, you know, not exciting. I mean, I know I love to cook, but you tend to cook for people. Correct. You know, with my kids being out of the house and, you know, my husband and I are like, yeah, whatever. You know, you really, cooking is a gift that you give to people in your, who you are trying to make or feel good. If you good. ask the people that come over to my house, I can't cook for one or two. Right, exactly. Even though there's only two. Right, you cook I, enough you cook for, for 10. cook for an army. There's right. 10, 20. Exactly. So my place is great for leftovers. So. A lot of stores now have the to-go's, and I know you have to-go at the Crown, and you yes, also we have, have a five o'clock market. Mm -hmm. That's designed for people to literally who who, who don't want to cook, right? Correct. So you can come in, get a single serving, get two, get two, three. Could put a catering order for two hundred. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, we have three compartment meals. You get a, a protein and two sides, mm. and uh, we have grab and go salads. We have grab and go sandwiches, wraps. Mm -hmm. We have a hot food bar. Soup station, salad bar, if you don't like, you know, the 10 or 12 uh, <laughs> salads that we already give you, a large option, mm -hmm. go ahead, make your own. You have a great salad and, bar. And I know that's become, you know, really a very popular function for so many stores. Yeah. Um, and it's a good idea. So, I mean, if you are in the, in the West Hartford market and you really don't feel like cooking, the best thing to do is get in your car and just drive to the crown and all these by. salads are, are part of it and and more i know but that's that's a great option for people who really don't want to cook for one person every day of the week so Correct. so that's that's terrific um let's talk about the guiltless tuna fish and i think i said this to you before we even came on air on camera um that as i was getting into my car and i told people were asking me where i was going and i told them i was interviewing uh maddie the executive chef from the crown they said oh ask him about the guiltless tuna fish would you please <laughs> i'm like okay so this guiltless tuna fish apparently has a life of its own in this community correct talk about it <laughs> okay well, what we have here is a different alternative to our famous crown tuna so this one's called Guiltless, and it has olive oil, lemon juice, mm. capers, fresh vegetables, and so it has no mayonnaise. Ah, so there's the healthy option. There's the healthy option. And that's why it's yes. Guiltless. Now this is the one <laughs> we sell. I was going to say, sell. can you make anything else Guiltless? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is the one that we sell, but you can also substitute avocados, mm -hmm. you know, now that, you know, the season's in, it's time for different tomatoes, so we have heirloom right. tomatoes, red onions instead of white Spanish onions. Mm -hmm. So you can really switch it up. And also the tuna itself is, is, is a good protein. Correct. So an excellent source and a, of protein, good dish to eat, very healthy, easy to make. 
Absolutely. But again, if you don't want to make it, just go to the crown and pick it up. Correct. <laughs> that that is like I said. I think that's is that one of your more popular? Do you have a popular dish there? I'm just curious. I tell you what, the tuna is by far. Is it? Our that's, top seller. Wow. How much tuna you think you go through a week? <laughs> I didn't prep. A few you. hundred pounds. A few hundred pounds. Wow. <laughs> if not more. So let's talk about spice. You've given us a few ways to introduce less salt and add more flavoring. Correct. What other options do you have for adding flavoring that you think of? Fresh lemon juices, mm -hmm. uh, just different herbs that are seasonal and fresh. You know, we do use a lot of fresh dill. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> but don't be afraid to, yeah. to experiment, just, yeah, right? Yeah, your with, fresh with herbs and, you know, fresher is better mm -hmm. instead of the dry stuff. Absolutely. You know, what do you know? What's the uh, corresponding um, measurement if you have dry versus fresh? Do you use less of the fresh? If less the recipe, of the fresh. Okay, so if the recipe calls for a teaspoon of basil and you have Correct. fresh, you would use a half maybe Correct. or a couple leaves, whatever. But yeah, fresh, exactly is, right. fresh is always the way to go. Um, your heirloom, someone said to me, would you please ask what makes a, to a tomato heirloom since it obviously <laughs> grew this year? Um, but heirloom really means that it comes from a seed, right? Of, yeah. a, of an older yeah. grown. It's just, yeah, yeah. local and mm -hmm. so every everywhere has their own. So And this is a season for it. If you can't eat tomatoes because they're high with acid, what would you substitute? You can just do a simple cucumber salad. Mm -hmm. We sell a couple of different ones, and they're great sellers. Yeah. Great sellers. You know, dill, salt and pepper, mm -hmm. a uh, little bit of, you know, uh, canola oil, mm -hmm. uh, rice wine vinegar, and very, there you go. Very, very simple. Very simple. Um, I, yeah, well, this is moving along. I told you this moves along very quickly. So I want to get to some questions here. Um, we had talked about the five o'clock market, so if people are, are tired of cooking or feeling like they get home from work and they just can't <laughs> cope with the stove, um, you know where to go. Um, but let's talk about how do we introduce more calories into people's food. If they're looking for ways to add calories to their diet, um, you know, some of the things you can do. I know you can sprinkle cheese on some things. Sprinkle cheese, you um, can use hummus, you okay. can use avocado. Av avocado is like, Rich in and creamy, everything. And <laughs> exactly. Um, a lot of people really are now starting you. to substitute. Exactly. Avocado. You can just use a whole sliced, mm -hmm. well, not whole, but you can slice it up. You can mush it. <laughs> right. You know, mash it. Mm -hmm. Dice it. What about milk products? Like, what would you add? You know, cream sauces add obviously calories, yeah, but obviously, yeah. um, I'm trying you to think. Do of the whole milk if you want to keep full fat. Mm -hmm. You can go with part skim and low fat milk if you were trying to watch the calories. Right. Right. Um, and then again, adding the cheeses and stuff is definitely a way to bulk up on the calories. Right. Easier to eat. Mm -hmm. All depends how you're, you're going to digest it. Right, exactly. I mean, you know, nutrition is so, so unique to every, every person. Some people need to add calories. Some people need to take calories away. Correct. <laughs> so, some people can't have salt. Some people can't have any salt. So it really is um, such a unique um, experience. But I think we all agree that we all like food. <laughs> yeah, that isn't the problem. Eating isn't the problem. Absolutely. Um, and like I said, you've given us some wonderful options. Um, let's talk a little bit about maybe uh, healthy substitutions a little bit. So if you're baking, I know I'm taking you off. <laughs> if you're baking, for example, um, and you want to cut down on butter, I've used yogurt. Correct. What are some things like that that people could maybe try? If Yogurt and sour cream are good substitutions. Okay. You know, you can use margarine instead of butter. Mm -hmm. And you mentioned avocado. Correct. Could be used for it, substituting any oil, anything that you need a cream. Correct. Sort Especially of feel if you're, to it. Yeah, if, like instead of using shortening, you can use the oil. Mm -hmm. Oh, shortening. Wow. You're dating yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mother cooked with shortening. Um, we use a lot. What That's are the stuff. other, yes, yeah, substitutes for mayonnaise besides avocado? You said sour cream, yogurt. Yep, Greek yogurt's mm -hmm. a good substitution. Mm -hmm. Hummus. Hummus is a great substitution for a lot of things. Absolutely. Um, talk about, for just a second, if, what about applesauce? Where can you use applesauce as a substitution? Abs yeah, in baking. Mm -hmm. Does it make everything looser or does it, but moist. you have to, moist. moist, okay. You can also put it in your stuffing. Oh. 
have a nice fruity apple oh, taste. Oh, that looks delicious, actually. That's a great idea. Um, how about substitute proteins? Ground turkey, what else can we do? Ground veal, ground lamb, mm. ground chicken. They're a great substitution for meatballs, stews, mm -hmm. chilies, mm -hmm. and uh, great to make burgers out of instead of your regular meat burger, you know, uh, hamburger. <laughs> you can have a turkey <laughs> burger, you can have a chicken burger. Exactly, exactly. Um, how about, and we talked about oil. I know extra virgin is sort of the main way to go for fat, for heart health. Correct. Um, and so, and you pretty much use either the olive oil you said or canola oil. Um, we're almost coming to the end already of our 30 minutes. Um, I want to ask you, I've asked every guest, uh, can you give me three tips that you would give to somebody who's cooking? What do you think are the three most important things to remember when you're cooking? Whether for your family or as an older person cooking for yourself. Do you have like three tips your mother gave you? <laughs> You know, well, what? definitely visual, uh -huh. texture, and taste. There you go. There you go. <laughs> well, the visual, you definitely, you, you, you got, you and definitely smell. Uh, absolutely. And I think that's what's so hard sometimes is as people age, um, you lose your taste of, taste of, of, uh, mm -hmm. uh, of, 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 um, Ah, thank you, Food. thank you, what was the word I was looking for? Yeah, you also lose your memories <laughs> and your words. Um, and you don't always smell the food cooking. And those are, those are experiences that make us all come to the table Correct. hungry. Um, so please, uh, if you are struggling um, with what to cook, what to eat, nutrition is an extremely important part of health for all of us. Um, I know, again, all, so many markets do to go and, and have healthy options. I would encourage you all to please visit The Crown. Um, I know this is public access and isn't supposed to be a commercial, but I can't help but push it a, a, a little bit. It has been a beautiful display of both food and obviously expertise. And um, I know you probably don't want the local community to come in and say, so can I ask Maddie a question? <laughs> <laughs> but if someone has an, a question or an issue, about nutrition or cooking, can they I'm ask always for your available. assistance and of say, course. look, my spouse can't eat X, Y, and Z anymore, um, but loves tomato sauce still. What's, what can I do? Correct. So that's, you know, if you have questions um, for Manny uh, and you'd like to uh, ask those, or you have a suggestion for an upcoming topic for a show, I'll remind you to email me at jointhediscussion at heberhealthcare.org. Um, and we will, we will get to your answers and we will provide you with information that you need. Um, I am really thankful that you were able to come today. I know it was... Thank you. It was a it, pleasure. Thank it, you for having us. It took you uh, a couple hours to prep for the show. <laughs> so I do appreciate the time no you put into that. And, and, and leaving the market again, thank you to The Crown for allowing me to steal your executive chef for the <laughs> afternoon. No problem. Um, this looks terrific. And again, I'll remind you, if you have questions, email me at jointhediscussion at heberhealthcare.org. It has been wonderful having you with us tonight. And here's to a long, healthy, happy, warm summer with good meals around the table. Thank you. See you next month.